All right, check out what I ate this week when I alternated my days with keto and carnivore. Stay tuned. Everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lydia. If you're new here, I have been on my keto weight loss journey for almost two years. I am on my quest to lose at least 100 pounds and I'm getting closer and closer to my goal and then I fall off and get back on and what have you. And I just had like a vacation from my strict diet mindset and I have somehow gained 10 pounds and so now I'm trying to lose it and get back to basics. And one of the things I wanted to do this week was to alternate days. I wanted to have one day where I'm eating carnivore or ketovore, basically I'm gonna call it my ketovore week. So I have one day where I'm eating carnivore or mainly protein, and then the following day might be keto, and then another day carnivore and keto, and just kinda interchange to see how that works for me this week and how well I do, so check out what I ate. It is 1124 and I am having a cheesy chorizo and egg bowl for my first meal of the day. And that's it. <laughs> All right, it is 10 a.m. and I am breaking my 16 hour fast with a collagen coffee. Uh, I've got the caramel coffee, half and half, and the chocolate collagen from Perfect Keto with some sugar-free whipped cream on top. All right, here is my first meal of the day. I'm not exactly sure what time it is, but I am doing a beef fajita omelet with cheddar cheese salsa, guacamole cup, and light sour cream. Three egg omelet. It is 12.46 p.m. for my first meal of the day. All right, I went to an event today and I had to order something and I ordered the meatballs with ranch dressing. It's probably not the cleanest, uh, but I had to eat something and it was a pizza place and I can't have pizza, so there you go. It is 11.12, going in with my first meal of the day, steak and eggs with some salsa. All right, it is about 12.41, a little munchy, so I'm gonna get a couple of these turkey um, slices and I may get a um, protein shake, Premier Protein. Real quick snack. I had dinner, I mean breakfast. I'm still kind of hungry. I had that thin steak, two eggs, and salsa. For some reason, craving protein. So, turkey slices it is. And I bought chocolate and caramel premier protein shakes today. So I may have one just to kind of up my protein. I did take out a big, well not big, but chicken for dinner. I think we're going to test it out in the um, Instapot. Still not tracking. Good 
morning and happy Friday. It is 15 till 11. I am breaking my fast, so I've been fasting for a while. I mean, you know, technically I'm not tracking my fasting hours on an app, nor am I tracking my macros, um, but I'm just kind of keeping an eye on. Like I normally know I finish dinner around six or seven. Um, so if I eat finished in around six and I don't have my coffee until 10, then it's 16 hours. So loosely, loosely based. I'm pretty sure I'm around 16 hours, if not very, very close to it fasting. I woke up with a major headache today. I took all of my vitamins and my pills and I took two ibuprofen and some water. Um, I'm not sure if it's how I slept or if it's my electrolytes. I did have my calm last night. I did salt my food religiously yesterday, um, or I should say, maybe not religiously, I thoroughly, <laughs> I salted my food, food thoroughly yesterday. So it shouldn't be my electrolytes, but, but um, I don't know, something's making this head hurt. So I'm gonna have my coffee, and then we'll see what we're doing for my first meal of the day. All right, I decided to make some lunch with something I've never tried before, which are these Miracle Noodles that I found at Ross for only $3.79. It is the Vegan Pho, 20 calories. I want to say there are two servings in here, which is six net carbs and 40 calories. And it comes with this packet of Pho broth concentrate and you just do a cup of water in a saucepan and then i've got some leftover chicken from yesterday the rotisserie and i'm probably i put a lot on a little plate because i want to up my protein so this is lunch all right here is the finished product the noodles look a little rubbery let me see they look a little rubbery looking, so I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I am going to put a little bit of liquid aminos. I already put some more pink salt in there. And then this is it. wasn't necessarily a horrible week. Uh, there were some things I could have done better for sure and I'm still getting out of the bad habit of eating because I haven't eat all, eaten all day or eating because it's time or eating because I had already planned to eat. Um, so that's something that I'm trying to break myself out of and try to really listen to my body and eat when I'm hungry. And I'm also trying to increase my protein because I'm pretty sure I'm not eating enough protein and I do want to step up my exercise game. I say that every single week and for some reason, I just find it so difficult to just get started. And I should follow my own advice from when I started exercising earlier this year and just put on the shoes. The hardest part is putting on the shoes and once I put on the shoes, then I'll go for that walk on my treadmill or go outside and go for a walk or do something active. I do need to do a week where I'm really trying hard to get these steps in uh, just to kind of get the habit rolling again because exercise has been something that has definitely fallen by the wayside that I have to be better at. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how hard is it for you to start an exercise plan? Are you doing something regularly? Do you try to do it how many times a week? I'd love to hear about it. Post it in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, do that now, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.